Hey, what's going on guys? We're back with part 21 of our learning C Shop tutorial. And today we're going to be um, creating a level end game over sequence for our for a game. So we'll go ahead and make a new script in utilities, even though it is getting kind of cluttered. And we're going to call this um, level end. Okay, and then we'll do um, on trigger enter, and we'll take in a collider, um, what we'll do is use the same logic as before, so go ahead and use that as a reference, our generic health and we're going to go ahead and copy this code here paste it into here and then set this false to true okay so we're creating a new game object we're adding the game over to it and we're setting the score to the um, gate component of score however um, this will try and access the level end score manager not the player so we need to do the players score manager so what we'll do is the um, collider dot um, get component. So this will take our the collision the colliders get component and then get their score. However, let's say a, an enemy bumps into this. We don't want that to throw up errors, so we're going to do a check beforehand. We'll do if collider dot tag does not equal player, meaning it's any other game object besides the player. We're going to return and just not process any of this code. Alrighty, so it's rather simple. Let's go ahead and uh, try it out. Uh, we'll go ahead and make it over here, um, just so we have something to uh, to reference to. We'll make a cube. Okay. And then we'll make its box collider a trigger. We'll do level end. Let's we'll save, and hopefully this will work. So let's go ahead and try and beat our level real quick. We touch it, and it says, Congratulations, you've won. Zero is your score. Now, if we go ahead and try and co uh, collide with it without um, using our. Hmm. Without using our. Uh, Um, our player, so let's say we try and shoot a projectile at it. It is um, going right through it as it should because there's a trigger and it doesn't process collision. However, uh, it's not doing the game over sequence because it's checking and this tag is untagged. It's not uh, the player tag. However, as soon as the player can move into it, it says, congratulations, you've won. Nine was your score. Now, one thing I, um, I noticed in the previous few episodes is it, is it freezes sometimes, or it doesn't freeze, but I think what's happening is our player is getting stuck inside of the the, um, the projectile. That's only if we're moving the same way as we're shooting. So if I shoot, it's fine, but if I start to move um, at just the right angle, then uh, that's what happens. So, um... There's a few ways we can go about doing this. One, the easiest way is to um, just move this away from our player a little bit more. And also we can do an ignore collision, but I don't think it's really worth our time. Okay. Now, once again, once we have an actual player model or a 2D sprite, um, it'll be like the barrel of a gun, which does not have collision, so we won't have this problem in the first place, and we should be fine. So as you can see, our score is updating. And now we have a proper game over. So uh, see you guys next time.